Hey, everybody, Anne here. Guess what? <coughs> that was Torch. He finally crowed, so he gets to go in with the Easter Eggers. And I gotta tell you, this Tennessee weather could not be any weirder. Torrential downpour this morning, but now the well, the sun was out, now it's behind clouds, but I'm hoping today will stay mild because I have a feeling chickens are going to be on the move today. I caught Torch and he's out here. The initial introduction wasn't great. One of the Easter Eggers tried to get up in his face, but he's been crowing out here. I wish I could capture him crowing for you. They're getting closer. He's not picking on them. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, I imagine there's going to be a little bit of that until they get used to each other. If he gets too bad, I'll remove him. But he's boss. What you doing, Coco? You checking things out? You too, Roxy? Go lay an egg. Aww. Romeo. Trying to romance her. You're a magnificent rooster. Even without your tail feathers. <laughs> it's going to be interesting at nighttime to see how I can get this one in there with the rest of them. I don't know. There's no telling. I just hope and pray this goes well. And now for this little area. Yup, I set it up. And what I was able to do to get this door out front, I just put it all the way around. It's behind that little brooder box there. Um, I took out the other part that goes that way because it didn't fit and we really don't need it. I put one piece of hardware cloth that goes from that way all the way over there. And then I just put this here and I zip tied it so all I have to do is lift it up if I need to get it in and out. And I can just step in here. Uh oh. <laughs> Easter eggers. Not in paradise just quite yet. But these chickens are all getting really settled. Did a little roost thingy like that. I think that they can all fit across that one stretch. They have the choice of either roosting here at night or going up into that box. Uh, I hung this up, so hopefully it won't get totally encrusted with, you know, gunk. But, they're looking pretty happy. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this way, leave it this way permanently, likely. Um, because once these get old enough, um, of course I'll incorporate them into whatever flock they're going to go into, depending on if they're a girl or a boy. And uh, if I ever want to brood out chickens... I'm just going to put them back in here. I can always put the heat mat in that little box with a long extension cord. And, uh, yeah, so I think that the, this will work out. I think this is going to work out just fine. They can't fly out. They're perfectly secure. So, yeah, awesome. And I've turned their box around this way again. They seem to like to lay in it better. That way I put that box over there just in case. And... If they want to lay up here, they can. I put another roost here because once I adding, start adding more chickens, I know the other chickens won't let them roost on the regular one. So this is all open. I took the chicken wire out and uh, plenty of room in here for more chickens. And this is the main roost. And <laughs> this is where, you yuck, gotta clean that. Uh, the, you know, Romeo and. Um, Romeo and Roxy and Miss Pris and Coco all roost. And I don't know if they'll ever let any other chickens roost there, but if not, there's plenty of other spots. And Romeo is out with his girls. Roxy is always trailing behind. But they all seem pretty happy and content. I watch them very, very closely because there's a certain area that I don't want them to go. So I normally don't let them free range anymore. Woo, hello, Papa. 
unless I'm supervising them um, and I'm going to rectify the area that I don't want them to go eventually, hopefully with a big long chicken wire fence. Uh, that'll come eventually. Until then, they've got to be kind of supervised. Look at this boy. <laughs> what are you doing, Papa? Goodness! These poor Easter eggers. Look at that one. That's the only one with like a gray, kind of like beard around it, its neck. I wanna, I think I'm gonna call that one Mama. Yeah, we'll call that one Mama. That's the only distinguishing characteristic so far. The rest of them all look exactly alike. Mama and the chicks. Who knows? But they really aren't commiserating with Torch very much unless it's a argument. These chickens, even though they're about three weeks older than Torch, Torch is twice the size, and even the hens um, from Torch's crew uh, are bigger than these. So these Easter eggers mature a lot slower, or either that or they're just uh, mature birds. They are just not a very big chicken, but they sure are beautiful. Oh, is he going to go in? All of the Easter eggers are inside. He's yet to go inside the coop yet. Go on, Torch. That's where you're going to be sleeping. He's checking it out. All the Easter eggers are afraid of him. Go on in, big boy. There he goes. He's in. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Let's see how it goes. They don't seem so happy, but I don't know, maybe it'll be okay. He's just in there checking it out. Yikes. At least they got somewhere to go, right? <laughs> you be good to those girls, Torch. Look at Torch is laying down right there. And the other Easter eggers are right there. It seems like it's calming down a little bit. Torch is not trying to attack them. He's trying to mate with them rather clumsily. Clum clumsy, whatever. <laughs> um but he's not trying to attack them. He's trying to tidbit for them, uh, make the little sounds that roosters make, uh, but they're not trusting him yet. There's one kind of checking him out. I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, and there's one just chilling out over there. I think they just need more time. And I think it's going to work out just fine. So I'm just going to sit out here and watch them and keep my fingers crossed that nothing bad happens and uh, hope for the best. But uh, I decided to take the baby chickens outside because we've had several long stretches of rain. I haven't been able to bring them outside and it stays really warm in that van. And as you saw earlier, they've got most if not all of their feathers in. They, a couple of them may just need a little bit more around the neck but um, they've not been requiring any heat and uh, they were getting cooped up in there. They were starting to act kind of stressed. So I decided to bring them out in the van. It stays really warm in that van. And um, so I'm just gonna keep a close watch. I'm gonna see how they do. And if it seems like it's gonna be too cold, and I don't think it is because it's not even gonna be dropping down below 60 for um, a few days so I think that the temperature is going to be okay and plus it's at least 10 degrees warmer inside that van than it is outside and so I think I think they'll be okay yeah I think they'll be okay uh, I've been doing a lot of reading rereading stuff I've already read and at this week they are um, basically five weeks old and they they fed it out really nice they're growing so big so yeah keep my fingers crossed about that too oh look at my hair yeah i've been uh in the chicken coops all day and i'm dirty i need to take a shower 
So that's next on the agenda. I've got a couple more things i got to do um, before I can call it a day. But anyhow, that's all i got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.